Singapore's political landscape witnessed a historic moment on Wednesday, May 15, as Lawrence Wong took the oath of office, officially assuming the role of the fourth Prime Minister of Singapore. This significant transition of power marks a pivotal moment in the nation's leadership history as Mr. Wong steps into the shoes of outgoing Prime Minister Lee Xinlong. In a solemn ceremony attended by dignitaries including President Tharman Shamugaram and Chief Justice Sundaresh Menon, Lawrence Wong swore to uphold the responsibilities of his new office. The event was graced by the presence of notable figures, including Mr. Wong's wife, Lu Zilui, and outgoing Prime Minister Li Xinlong, along with Singapore's esteemed ministers. The journey to this momentous occasion began back in April 2024, when Prime Minister Li Xinlong confirmed the impending leadership handover to Mr. Wong. This decision was made two years after Mr. Wong was initially named as the leader of the People's Action Party's PAP, Fourth Generation, 4G, team, signaling a carefully planned succession within the party. Mr. Wong's ascension to the role of Prime Minister ushers in a new era of leadership for Singapore. Born after the nation gained independence in 1965, he represents a generation deeply rooted in the values that have shaped modern Singapore. In his inaugural speech, Mr. Wong expressed gratitude for the honor bestowed upon him and pledged unwavering commitment to serve Singapore and its citizens. Acknowledging the challenges ahead, Mr. Wong emphasized the importance of unity and resilience in navigating geopolitical tensions and global uncertainties. He articulated a vision of inclusive governance, highlighting the need to foster mutual respect and trust within Singapore's diverse society. Drawing upon Singapore's successful management of the COVID-19 pandemic as a testament to its collective strength, Mr. Wong underscored the resilience ingrained in the nation's fabric. Looking ahead, Mr. Wong's leadership is poised to chart a course for Singapore's future, guided by principles of integrity, meritocracy, and multiracialism. As he assumes office, Mr. Wong stands ready to uphold Singapore's constitution and lead with dedication and resolve. President Tharman Shamugaram, in his address, commended outgoing Prime Minister Lee Shin Long for his service to Singapore. Reflecting on Mr. Lee's achievements, President Tharman praised his commitment to inclusivity and economic transformation, underscoring Singapore's progress under his leadership. With the mantle of leadership now passed to Lawrence Wong, Singapore embarks on a new chapter in its journey of nation-building. As the nation prepares for the next general election, Mr. Wong's tenure as Prime Minister holds the promise of continuity and progress, guided by the enduring values that define Singapore's identity. Singapore政治局势于5月15日迎来了历史性时刻。黄循才宣誓就任新加坡第四任总理。这一权力的转移标志着新加坡领导层历史上的重要时刻。黄循才接替了现任总理李显龙的位置。在一场庄严的仪式上，由总统尚达曼和首席法官Sunderesh 这一历史性时刻的起源可追溯到2024年4月 作为1965年独立后出生的一代人,他代表了一个深深扎根于塑造现代新加坡价值观的群体。在他的旧职演讲中,黄循才表达了对赋予他的荣誉的感激,并承诺全心全意为新加坡及其公民服务。面对前进道
、十九大流行的管理作为国家集体力量的证明，并强调了这种韧性已经深深融入了国家的基因。展望未来，黄循才的领导将以诚信、精英主义和多元文化为指导原则，为新加坡的未来规划道路。随着他就职，黄循才准备好恪守新加坡的宪法。并以奉献和决心领导国家。总统塔曼沙努加拉特南在讲话中赞扬即将卸任的总理李显龙为新加坡的服务。回顾李总理的成就，塔曼总统赞扬了他对包容性和经济转型的承诺，并强调了在他领导下新加坡取得的进展。随着领导权的交接到了黄循才手中，新加坡开启了建设国家的新。